I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and this is the full review of the Rock Island TAC Ultra FSHC 1911 in 9mm. Now before we get any further, we're going to make sure the firearm is safe and not loaded. Fire! Now the first thing you might be asking is, what the heck do all those letters mean? Surely they're not that important. Well actually they kind of are. TAC is Rock Island's designation for their tactical line of firearms. Ultra refers to a line of firearms that Rock Island sells that has upgraded sights. If you look closely, this has a bright red fiber optic front sight and adjustable rear sights. FS stands for full size. This is a full size 1911, not a commander or officer size. And HC of course stands for high capacity. This is a double stack 9mm, so it can hold 17 plus one round. And 1911 means, well, if you're watching this video, you already know what 1911 means. And this is important because Rock Island makes a 1911 for everyone under the sun. Yeah, they have non-tactical 1911s. They have non-ultra tactical 1911. They have single stack and double stack 1911s. They even vary in calibers. 9mm, 10mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP. Heck, they even just came out with a 380 ACP for crying out loud. First, let's take a look at the specs. This 1911 is a double stack 9mm, which means it can hold 17 plus 1. But oddly enough, you can fit 18 plus 1 and it still feeds reliably. It has a 5 inch barrel, full length guide rod, and a full length dust cover with tactical rail. The trigger is advertised at a four to six pound pull, which I would say is pretty accurate. It features an adjustable rear sight and a bright red fiber optic front sight. It weighs in at a whopping three pounds unloaded. Holy cow! And just over three and a half pounds when it is fully loaded. But look at this thing. It just looks freaking cool. Now I handled this firearm in several different gun shops before I ended up buying it. And the fit and finish on all of them was awesome. So I did what any capitalist loving American would do. I went home and bought it online for cheaper. When my gun arrived at my FFL, he inspected it and even he was really impressed with the fit and finish on it. Rock Island actually boasts that they have a secret proprietary method for fitting their frames and slides effectively. And you really can't argue with results here. Out of the box, the slide fit the frame perfectly. No slop, no burrs, no rough edges, no break-in necessary. Now let's take it to the range. This range report is brought to you by Dr. Thunder! The 17 round magazine that came with it from the factory loaded up surprisingly with 18 rounds and fed flawlessly with a steady diet of brass case, steel case, round nose, hollow point, 115 grain, 124 grain, 147 grain. Come to think of it, there's nothing steady about that diet at all. But it fed everything I gave it, like, really well. And not only was it reliable, but super accurate and with low recoil. Probably because it weighs as much as a B-17 Flying Fortress. Now what I thought was a big selling point for these is that they use Para P18 9mm magazines. Which means that these magazines are cheap and plentiful, right? WRONG! Para P18 9mm magazines are actually out of production and are about as rare as a gun-loving liberal. They are currently going for nearly $100 on GunBroker. HOLY COW! After poking around on some gun forums, I figured it'd be worth a try to give Para P18 38 Super mags a try. So instead, I picked up a Para P18 magazine and 38 Super on GunBroker for about 27 bucks shipped. And after testing, I can tell you that a 38 Super magazine does work in this firearm. However, I could only get it to feed reliably if I put 10 or less rounds into it. Anything above 10 and the rounds start to nosedive worse than a kamikaze. But magazines should be limited to 10 rounds, because that makes me feel safer. Right. It's a good thing that Metgar stepped up to the plate and started manufacturing a P18 9mm and 38 Super Combo magazine. This magazine does feed and function flawlessly up to full capacity in the Rock Island TAC Ultra, but there's two things that you should know about. The Metgar magazine does not come with the same base plate that the Rock Island Factory magazine comes with. And as a result, you have to tap it really hard to get it to seat properly! And two, they're actually backordered anywhere that sells them for a reasonable price. So that means that you're left with two options. One, order one from Rock Island at their ridiculous price, and you still actually won't even get this awesome base plate. You'll have to buy that separately, which also adds to the price. Or two, wait really, really patiently until you see a used 38 Super only Metgar magazine. Yes, Metgar used to make a 38 Super P18 magazine, and it is actually the exact same magazine as the 9mm combo. And this magazine I was able to purchase on GunBroker for $23 shipped. So to summarize, Factory Mag is the best. Metgar Mags? Great. Para 38 Super Mags are trash, and Para 9mm Mags are rare and expensive. So what practical application does this gun have in your arsenal? Can you use it to shoot competitions? Well, because of the full length dust cover, it actually doesn't qualify for any category in IDPA. For USPSA matches, you can compete in the open division, limited, and limited 10, which of course limits you to 10 rounds. But what's the point of having a high capacity firearm if you're only gonna put 10 rounds in it? But magazines should be limited to 10 rounds because that makes me feel sick. Right. But if you really want to compete with this gun, take it to a three gun match, because I'm pretty sure that's what they designed this thing for. As far as I know, this gun is good to go for any three gun match. And in my opinion, it'll serve you just as good as any gun that costs two to three times the price. And if you're not into competing, this gun would make an excellent home defense tool. It's high capacity, it's reliable, and you scuba ninjas are gonna love this full length tack rail. Perfect for your flashlight, laser, bipod, GoPro, bayonet, 
or any combination to your heart's content. Get out of my house! And if the gun were to jam up or you ran out of ammo, it would make an excellent melee weapon. Pew, pew, pew. Now you may be saying to me, what can this gun do that a Glock 17 can't? Well, a Glock 17 can't be a 1911. What do you want me to say? Of course a Glock 17 can do anything that this gun can do, and more, like compete in an IDPA match. And it can do it for about $100 less and probably half the weight. So if you're a Glock guy, buy the Glock. But Glocks are ugly. Exactly. So if you're a 1911 guy and you want a high capacity 9mm, there's not a whole lot of options under $1,000. And thankfully, this is a really good option. This thing can be found for as low as $659 street price for the 9mm only version, or $766 if you want the 22 TCM combo. But let's be honest, there's no practical use for a 22 TCM handgun. You can always buy a 22 TCM barrel and mag spring from Arms Corps later on if you really feel like you're missing out. So to summarize, things that are cool. Not a picky ammo eater. Super accurate. Things that would normally be considered upgrades come as standard equipment, like the fiber optic sight, full length guide rod, full length dust cover, and the adjustable rear sight. Things that suck. The gun is super heavy. It has a very large grip, not friendly for small hands, and mags are really hard to find and expensive. So if you're in the market for a full size high capacity 9mm, the Rock Island is really a solid choice. Are there cheaper options out there? Sure. Are there better options out there? Probably. Are there lighter options out there? Definitely. But if you're a 1911 guy, then this is probably your best buy. So you may be asking the question, um, how do I know if I'm a 1911 guy? Well, if you're asking that question, you're not a 1911 guy! I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and thanks for watching. And if this review is just a little bit too long for you, consider watching the quick review next time. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.